I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. If your quadcopter has too much power, is there even such a thing? <laughs> if your quadcopter has too much power, today I'm going to show you a way to scale back the throttle to make it a little more manageable. And there's a couple reasons why you might actually want to do this. The first one is, well, uh, this is what got me thinking about it, actually. This is a Happy Model Mobula 7. It is a Tiny Whoop class quadcopter, but it actually runs on two cell batteries, unlike most Tiny Whoops that run on one cell. And that means that, especially if you're trying to fly it indoors in a really tight environment, especially if you're a beginner and you don't quite have that throttle management down, it might be too powerful and you might want to dial it down some. Now the Mobula 7 actually runs off of two individual one cell batteries. So if you want to, you can run it off of one battery and run it off of 1S. But many 2S whoops don't actually have the ability to do that. And some people are actually modding their Mobula 7 to use an XT30 connector and run off of a different single battery. But there's more reasons why you might want to turn your throttle down. And one of them is if you're just a beginner and you just want a little bit less power, if you, I made a video a long, long time ago about how to make a 4S pack run like a 3S pack by lowering your throttle. And that's similar to what we're going to do today, but time has moved on. We actually can do it better and smarter. And that's what I'm going to show you. Let's take a look at how we can scale down the throttle of the Mobula using the Betaflight command line and then using the uh, the OpenTX in the Tyrannus. Scaling the throttle in Betaflight is really simple. You gotta be using, I think this was added in Betaflight 3.3, I'm not 100% sure. In older versions of Betaflight, this isn't there. You do have to go to the command line. It'll be in the GUI, probably in Betaflight 4.0, start in the January timeframe. For now, you're just going to go to the command line. And you're going to type set throttle limit type equals scale and set throttle limit percent equals. And this is the percent by which you want to scale down the throttle. So what we suggest is maybe doing 75% uh, which would take it, you know, take your power down by about 75%. If you want to literally take a 2S to a 1S, then would you do 50%? I, I don't know. I don't, I guess you could just feel it out for where you want to be, but 75% will take just a little bit of that edge off of the 2S tiny whoop and take it down to something a little more manageable. And you can play with that. You can play with that however you need to, and you can type save and that will finish that off. When you want to set it back, you're going to type set throttle limit percent equals 100 and that'll put it back where it was at full power if we just take a look at the throttle limit type because some of you guys are going to wonder about this the throttle limit type can either be set to scale or to clip and what clip will do is it will just cut off the top x percent of the throttle Rather than scaling the throttle down so you have the full stick travel, it'll basically just chop off the top of the throttle. And the people who might want to do this are racers who want to reduce their top end for like if you have to race a really long distance race and you don't want to allow yourself to go past 80% throttle, but you don't want to change your muscle memory for where the hover point for your quad is. Clip will just chop off the top of the throttle and once you go above that percent, just nothing will happen. It won't get any more powerful. So clip is not what we want to use. We want to use scale. We're going to scale the throttle down. Now, the advantage of the command line option that I've just shown you is that it works on any Betaflight quad. It, 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 any transmitter, doesn't matter. No fussing around with mixing or any of that nonsense. Just go into the command line, type the commands. It's done. But it's not easy to undo it. It's not easy to go back and forth between full throttle and 75% throttle. So for example, if you've been outdoors with your 2S Mobula 7, ripping it up in the trees, and then you wanna bring it indoors and tone it down, you gotta hook it up to a computer and type those command line options in. And that's a little bit of a hassle. So I'm gonna show you how to put the throttle scaling on a switch using your Tyrannus and OpenTX. And here in the Tyrannus, I'm gonna hit menu and then page to go to the inputs page and actually I've got my throttle input here and I think I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess with it I'm just gonna leave that there and make a new input line uh, so that I don't like mess this model up because I don't yeah so I'm gonna create a new input line here you could just modify your existing throttle line it's up to you how you want to do it and the input name let's call it 
let's just call it throttle two. Okay. And the source, I'm gonna hit the enter key so that it's now flashing. I'm gonna move the throttle and that will just fill in the throttle as the source. And what we're gonna to need to adjust here is the weight and the offset to adjust the output of the curve. So you can see if I simply take the weight down, oops, I gotta highlight the weight and hit enter. If I simply take the weight down, the throttle curve changes, but the output is not, it's not like you might think. The output is, it's never gonna go to zero throttle and it's never gonna go to full throttle. So it's, the weight is scaling the throttle around the center, which is not exactly what we want. Let's say we wanna take this down to 75%. So we're gonna set the weight to 75% and the offset, then we would scale down the offset by minus 25. And then you can see that at the begin at low throttle it's at minus 100, and at high throttle it's at only uh, plus 50 is the output. So now we've got the channel going from zero to 75 percent, and we would need to adjust that offset and weight depending on whatever uh, whatever percentage we wanted. So if you wanted to take your throttle down to 80 percent you would have 80% weight and minus 20 offset. If you wanted to take it to 50%, you would have 50% weight and minus 50 offset. You see how the math works out there? Think about it for a second. You basically just need to see that when the throttle is all the way down, you have minus 100. When the throttle is all the way up, you have whatever percent that you're shooting here, shooting for here. Don't be confused here. Notice that when I put the throttle all the way up, it reads 50 as the output, and that's because uh, it's using the old servo nomenclature where m the middle is zero, all the way to the left is minus 100, all the way to the right is plus 100. So going to plus 50 is 75% of the total available travel. Yeah, it's a little bit confusing there. So the real question is, how do you tie this to a switch so you can flip back and forth between regular throttle and scaled down throttle? Take a look. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight this line where I've put the scaled throttle. I'm gonna hold down enter and I'm gonna insert a new line before that existing line. And this one, the source is gonna be the throttle and that's it. I'm not gonna change anything. I just have a regular throttle from minus 100 to 100 with a weight of 100 and offset of zero, just like normal. And now you can see we've got these two lines and the next thing we need to do is decide which is gonna be active based on a switch position. So I'm gonna go back to the first one. I'm gonna hold down enter and edit. And what I need to do is I need to go down to where it says switch. And this will cause this input line to be active only when a certain switch is in a certain position. I'm gonna press enter to cause that to flash. And now I'm gonna flip the switch that I wanna use into the position that I want it to be. So let's say we're gonna use this three position switch here and I'm gonna flip it and now it will fill in switch SC as the switch. And let's say that when that switch is up, we're in normal throttle and you'll see now that reads switch SC up. I'm gonna hit enter and exit to back out. And then I'm gonna go down to the second line and I'm gonna hold down enter and edit. And I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna choose switch and I'm gonna flip switch SC to the middle position and now it says switch SC dash or middle position. And so now you can see that as I flip that switch, I'm changing which of these throttle lines is active. And I could, since that's a three position switch, I could add a third one, for, for example, to make this throttle be 50% if I so desired. The last thing I need to do is I need to press page to go to the mixer screen and down here on the channel where the throttle is, so my throttle is on channel three. I'm gonna long press and edit. And if you used your existing throttle input and just modified it, then you don't need to do this. But since I made a whole new input line for this customized throttle, I'm gonna to need to change the source here from input throttle to, there you go, there's throttle two. That's my, that's my new, adjustable throttle input line. That's gonna be the new source. 
for my throttle channel. So now if I go back out to the main screen and I press page a few times, I will get to the channels monitor and you can see here's my throttle channel right here. If I put it all the way to max, if I flip the switch, now I'm down at 50%, now I'm up at 100%. And that's my throttle scaling all the way up and down. There you go. So that's how you set up a custom throttle curve to let you dial up or dial down the power of your quadcopter simply by flipping a switch. And in case you didn't figure this out already, this is exactly how you set up dual rates if you want to set up dual rates in the radio. Betaflight can also set up dual rates and it can set up dual rates on a switch. Unlike this throttle thing that we're doing, which Betaflight can't flip, you know, flip a switch to do yet, maybe someday it will. Dual rates you can do in the flight controller if you prefer, but some people like to set up dual rates in their uh, in their transmitter, which would mean that you could have low rates for, for indoor flying where you need a little bit less uh, aggression, high rates for outdoor acro, that kind of thing. The process would be exactly the same. You would just set up dual input lines, and then you would have each of them assigned to a different switch position, just like I showed you here. If you've got any questions about how to do this, I try to answer all the questions I can down in the comments, so leave them down in the comments, or of course, you're always welcome to contact me directly on Facebook or even via email if you're having trouble getting this set up. I love to help you guys out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy flying. That's not a Mobula 7. Where's the Mobula 7? Mobula! Mobula, where are you? Hey, Mobula! What? What's the deal with the Mobula 7? They call it the Mobula 7, but it runs on two cells! Where's the other five? <laughs> she called it the Mobula too.